okay everyone so now we are applying the operation on two combo boxes so first of all we are taking the first combo box here then afterward we are taking the another combo box here we are going to apply their operations so for that we are taking the buttons so the first button we are taking let us suppose that we are providing the right arrow so here from combo box 1 to 2 we are shifting one element now we are taking one more button here in this button we are providing the left hand side arrow that means from 2 to 1 we will shift one element again we are taking one more button here and here we are providing the double arrow to the right hand side that means shifted all the elements of 1 to 2 then from we are taking one more button this button will work for left hand side so double arrow is given that means all the elements from 2 to 1 will be shifted so we are now going to select all the buttons and we are going to provide their size let us suppose that we are increasing their size slightly and again we are providing their width also so these are the buttons which are ready now we are going to align these buttons then afterward aligning this we are going to provide their code so these are all buttons which will work now these are the two combo boxes so we are making them on the top of the first button now afterward we want that there should be the label above these combo boxes so we are taking first label here now here i want that there should be the name the name is that is combo box one so this is the first combo box and afterward we are having the second combo box so we are selecting that and here we are providing that is combo box that is two so these are the two combo boxes i am going to select these two combo boxes then afterward we are going on the font property so their font we are going to provide and that font is bold 12 so you can see that these are the two combo boxes now as the font is very large so we are going to extend the size of form then afterward we are going to increase the combo box size also now we are going to select the combo box 2 and shifting it now we are selecting all the buttons so this is button 1 2 3 and 4 and we are increasing their size and we are putting them into the middle then afterward we are again selecting the combo box 1 and 2 and putting them down so here we can see that our program form is ready then afterward we want that their count should come into the text box so we are taking the two text boxes there this is the text box 1 then afterward we are taking one more text box which is the text box 2 so these two text boxes we have taken and we are aligning these text boxes with the combo box size so that there should be better visibility of the form then afterward we are going to decrease the size of form so here we can see that our form is ready in the form i want to provide my name so here i am going and providing the text and the text is here i am writing Ankit Varma. Now, if I click back, we can see that the name is there. If I run this project, so we can see that these are the two combo boxes and these are some buttons and they contain the count. I want that these combo boxes should be having the items whenever we start the project. So here we are going back and double click on the form. This is the form load coding means when the form will be started at that time, this code will work. We want that in the combo box one one item should be added so combo box one dot items dot add let us suppose that here we are adding one orange now this orange is added here if i run this project then afterward if i see one orange is there and here there is nothing i want that if there is one item then in the text box there should be the count so we are going here and we can see that this is the text box one text box one will be having the count of combo box one so here we are going back and we are applying here that is text box one dot text so the text will be equal to it will be from combo box one dot items dot count so we are going to count the elements so we are going to run this code if there is one element then here is one if i want to add on multiple elements then i will just copy this code then afterward i will paste the code 
एट नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स आई वॉन्ट सो वन एलिमेंट टू एलिमेंट एंड थ्री एलिमेंट सो थ्री टाइम आई हैव पेस्टेड लेट अस सपोज दैट हेयर इज ऑरेंज एंड आफ्टरवर्ड आई एम टेकिंग द मैंगो देन आफ्टरवर्ड लेट से आई एम टेकिंग वन ओवर एलिमेंट दैट इज बनाना सो दिस इज बनाना आई एम टेकिंग नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू रन दिस कोर्ड we can see that 3 is there so number of elements are 3 3 three elements are available similarly in the combo box 2 i want to add the elements with their count so what i will do i will simply copy this code then afterward we are going to paste this just below so here on the form load this whole code will work this is combo box 2 so i am going to change everywhere that this is the combo box 2 because these element should be the part of 2 and this is text box 2 where the count will come for the combo box 2 so we are going back here and putting that text box 2 it is having the count of combo box 2 now we are going to run this code so we are running this code we can see that 3 3 and the items are orange mango banana So when the form loaded means we start the project three elements are added to the combo box 1 and their count is come to the text box 1 similarly three elements orange mango banana these are added to the combo box 2 and their count is 3 i am going to change their names for the better understanding so here i am going and providing let's say colors so here i am mentioning that red let us suppose that instead of mango we are taking green and here we are taking let's say blue so these three colors are there now we are going to run this code then afterward three elements are there orange mango banana and here red green blue now i want that if i select some item let's say orange and click on this button then this item should be shifted from combo box 1 to 2 so we are going on the form double click on the button in this button we want to apply the code so here we are going to take the item from 1 to 2 so we are going to shift the element from combo box 1 to 2 means combo box 2 we are adding the item so we are going back here and we are writing combo box 2 dot items dot add and from where they are adding they will add from the combo box 1 dot selected item means whatever the item we have selected that will be coming here Second item means their name. So if I run this project, now if I say orange, select the orange. Now click here. So orange is now coming here. You can see that orange is still there. The item is copied. I want that orange should be shifted. It should not be copied. So that this item should be deleted also. So here I am going back to the code. In the code we are going to delete the element that is combo box one. dot items dot remove at now remove from where the item which was selected so combo box 1 dot selected index remember whenever we are removing we need the index now we are going to run this code so understand by default they are having the three three items orange mango banana then red green blue if i select mango and click on this button so selected item means the name the name is mango so mango will be added to the combo box 2 so click that mango is added to combo box 2 now selected index we know that mango was the item so every item is having their index 0 1 2 so that index was taken and removed from the combo box 1 let's say banana banana is having index 1 orange is having index 0 so 0 1 if i select orange now name is orange selected item means name is orange and the index is 0 so if i shift over there then the name is shifted so you can see that orange is shifted and from the index 0 the item was removed so this was the code but there is a problem the problem is you know that the text boxes are having the static count which is 3 3 but the count is different here is one item and here are five items so count should be changed so we are going back the count coding we have already done so we are going to copy that so in the text box one this is the count so we are going and apply the count here then afterwards similar manner we are going for the 
text box two. So we are copying it, and then afterward we are applying it. Text box one and two are having the count of combo box one and two. So we are running this code. We can see that three items and three items. If I select one item, let's say banana, shift that. So banana is deleted and banana is shifted here. Now the count is two and four. It is correct. In the similar manner, I want to do the code for this operation that is right hand side. So from combo box two to one, one element will be shifted. So we are going to the left hand side button. Double click on that. We know that the similar coding we have already done. So we are going to take that. copy it then afterward we are going to paste that this time we are taking element from 2 and going to 1 so here all the values will be changed so here we are mentioning that combo box 1 dot items dot add from where from combo box 2 and afterward we are going to simply say in the combo box 2 we are going to delete the element which was selected so that is the coding text box 1 and 2 will remain same so here we are going to run this code now here from the combo box 2 if i select green click on this button we can see that 2 4 so here green is removed and green is coming here now we are going to run the code for double right button if i click on this all the items for combo box 1 will be shifted to combo box 2 so we are crossing it then again we are going on this button this button means all the elements of 1 will be going to 2 so double click on that now afterward we are going to apply the code for this now the combo box coding is slightly different from the list box coding here we has to make the object of collections first so here we are saying that dim c1 c1 let's suppose it is the combo box 1 as then afterward we are mentioning combo box dot object collection object collection means it will take the collection of objects from where from the combo box 1 so from combo box 1 dot items we are going to take into the collections so, so c1 is the collection object which will take all the items from the combo box 1 now we are saying that for each item in C1. So for all the items which are the part of C1, we are going to say that combo box two dot items dot add, and these items will be added. So this is how we can add the elements to the combo box two from the one. Now understand how this code is working. You see, there are three items. Again, there are three items. If I click on this right button. Now click that. Now here we can see that three elements are there. Here the six elements are there. Means all the elements are copied. So all the elements are copied here. Now first of all, before understanding this code, once all the elements orange, mango, banana are copied to combo box two, orange, mango, banana, then afterward we has to make combo box clear because we are shifting. We are not copying. We are shifting here. so afterward we are saying that combo box 1 dot items dot clear means after shifting item should be clear now understand the code so here while running combo box is having three items two is having three items if i shift now zero item and six items so how it is working understand that here C1 is the object of combo box object collection. Means C1 contain the object collection. It is the object which is from combo box one. So combo box one all items is the part of C1 now. C1 is the object of collection. Collection contain combo box one items. Now for every item which is the part of C1, C1 contain the items of combo box one. So that means all the items which are the part of combo box one are added to the combo box two. So these all elements are added to the combo box 2 and after adding this is the part of copying the code copying means copying all the elements of combo box 1 to 2 we want that combo box 1 should be clear afterward so here we have given that combo box 1 dot items dot clear so after shifting all the element should be clear but there is a problem 
the problem is that here count is not proper here is 0 and here is 6 so count should be changed and we know that the coding of count we have already given so copy that then afterward we are going to simply paste that now if I run this code then afterward we see that there is three item three item if we are shifting that then after what it is going to happen 0 and 6 so no item is there then afterward 6 items are there similar code we want to perform for left double operator so that means if I click on that all the items of 2 should be going to the 1 so for that we are going on the design double click on this we have already done the coding so we are going to copy that then afterward we are going to paste it here here we are shifting from 2 to 1 so here we are taking the object as C2 now afterward here it is the combo box 2 now here it will become C2 and it will become the C1 so accordingly we have to change now this will be become C2 so this is how the code is ready now we are going to understand this code so first of all we are running this project when we start the project this form load coding work and orange mango banana is added to the combo box one and their count is there into the text box one red bean blue is added to the combo box two and their count is taken to the text box two then afterward we are having the code of button one and two in the button one we are having one to two one element shifted so select one element let's say orange now the name is orange and that will be copied to the comma box 2 so here if I click on that then orange is now shifted here and here that orange whatever the index was there that is removed and their count is coming 2 and 4 now afterward we are having the left hand side so click on the let's say green and afterward click on this button so the second code will work here selected item is green so green will be copied to the combo box 1 and selected index we know that the green is having the index which is 1 so red is at 0 green 1 blue 2 and orange 3 so right now green is selected so index is 1 so 1 will be removed so just select this you can see that green is here and from here it is removed now we are going further and there is a further coding of two buttons here we have that if I select this double arrow on the right hand side then mango banana green and here red blue orange so click on that you can see that all the items are shifted to the combo box 2 and the items are 0 6 so combo box 1 all the items are going to the object of object collection which is C1 so from C1 one by one all the items are going to the combo box 2 and combo box 1 will be clear and their count is coming to the text box 1 and 2 similar way if I click on this then all the items from combo box 2 are going to the combo box 1 by this code so this is how we can take all the elements you can see that 6 0 click on that 0 6 now afterward if I take orange then click that one item is shifted so this is how we can make the count using this text box and we can shift one item or multiple items into the combo boxes.